Mama Mixer. I'm Shirley from Life as a Twin Mom and today I'm going to share with you a couple of back to school DIYs. These are things that are going to help the first day of school to be a little more memorable and a little easier on you. And the best part is you can get everything from the dollar store. Nothing is going to cost you more than two to three dollars for each of these DIYs. Super affordable and super cute. So if you'd like to see what I came up with, just keep watching. But first, if you haven't subscribed to the Mama Mixer, please do so right here. We put out videos every Friday. So the first thing you're going to need are some kind of like lunch containers. I used vegetable and dip containers. They had a huge assortment, so find what fits your family best. And then I just picked up these chalkboard stickers and I used the big biggest ones for the lid and I just placed them on there nicely to make sure there weren't any bubbles and I chose to fill mine with pretzels and hummus because that's just something my kids really like um, so the dip container was really nice to have built into the actual like snack container and here's the fun part you're gonna use chalkboard markers mine had pink yellow and blue and then you can write your little note to your kid on there and it's snack time they will know that you love them I know a lot of moms like to put the little note cards in there and that is really cute so I thought this was another way that you could just write a note. Okay, so this next one is by far my favorite. One day I woke up sick and I couldn't get the kids ready for school so Dean had gotten them ready for me which was very nice and very thoughtful except he put on the clothes that the kids had worn the day before. My kids are only in school for two hours so I don't wash their clothes when they get home from school. I hang them back up and he had no idea so my kids went to school in the same clothes twice in a row so this is a way to avoid that problem okay so for our next DIY you're going to need a package of hangers some duct tape I chose blue for my kids but they had all kinds of really cute ones so cut yourself a piece and what you're gonna do is just center it into that middle part of the hanger and then you want to make sure that you are lining everything up nicely like you don't want it to hang over because then stuff's going to get stuck to the glue on the other side so line it up nice and then just make sure it seals up and then to make sure that they're all the same size just use one as a guide and cut them all down to the same size then i use these sticker labels and i just wrote monday through friday on each of them and stuck that on top and there you go now you have your whole week organized it won't take up any more space in your kid's closet and if hubby needs to get the kids dressed you know they're not going to school in something they wore yesterday. All right, and for my last DIY, we know that the first day of school picture is super important. So this is a way that you can make a cute little frame. I see a lot of moms print out those, um, like pictures that say first day of school but I feel like they, you spend so much time to get that first day of school outfit like just right and then you put that sign up and you can't see the outfit I thought this was pretty cute because you can see their whole outfit and it doesn't get covered up by that sign alright so this was really easy I just used a piece of their foam board these are only 50 cents a piece and then I used these word strips traced out a border with one word strip just to make sure I have the size right and then I just used this utility knife to cut out the center so what you're gonna do is grab like a magazine or a cardboard box or just do it on a surface you don't care about and just go ahead and get that center piece out now just take your word strips and put those along so you have a cute little border um, also the Dollar Tree has like bulletin board borders that would work out really nicely and would look really cute too especially if your kids are a little bit older these board strips might look a little babyish so I decided to use blue and green because those are my kids favorite colors so this way they could both be happy and I didn't have to make two signs it's also easier if you just tape the whole frame and then put the word strips on it just moved a lot quicker for me that way and then it wasn't completely perfect, so I had to go in after and kind of shave off any pieces that were showing through. And then I used these die cutout letters. You have enough letters, so you only need to buy one package. I will say that I wish I picked up the red packet. I think the, um, I just think the red letters would have popped a lot nicer, so think about your color choices. I mean, it looks okay, but I just think that red would have looked so much better. And that's my little Caleb. Say love you, Mom! Love you, Mom! And I had to get the little boy that I nanny for into this video because he loves watching our videos. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like those DIYs. If you try any of them, please don't forget to share them with us. Use the hashtag the Mama Mixer. We would love to see them. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We put out videos every week, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye!